Hello everyone, my name is Vibin, and in today's video, I'm going to be using 2500 resin to see if we can get some good artifacts for Nouvellet. Now this is going to be a little different from previous artifact runs, as I'm going to be following some information that I learned from this video by Vidmilo. Now this is a very, very good video, and I highly recommend going and watching it. He does an excellent job at explaining some artifact optimizations, what to look for on artifacts, and some math behind artifacts that you should roll and when not to roll these. Um, I will link it down below in the description and I highly recommend going and checking it out. Now I'm going to be doing a brief explanation on some of these terms that he uses and putting them into layman terms for you. And if you don't know that's just very simple terms and trying to easily explain these. Now again I really really recommend going and watching this video and giving him credit giving him this watch because it is an amazing video and it actually helped me out a ton with my artifacts and farming for them and what I should be going for. And he has some on screen explanations that are very easy to comprehend. Now I'm not going to be going over everything that he says in the video as that would take away from the point of watching his video. So you know just make it to where you have to go watch his video. However, I will be pointing out some of the important things that I learned and what I'm using in this video to help myself out with artifact farming and making this easier and saving me resin, mora, and time. First off, let's go over the artifacts and what I am looking for in main stats and substats to optimize my nuvolet. First off is the flower and the feather that we're going to be looking at, which these always are going to roll with flat HP and flat attack. Now the substats are what are important to get on these. Now in the video, Vidmilo talks about how you want to have valuable substats or it's going to be shortened down to VS. And for Nouvellet, this is pretty easy to follow as you can just look at his talents, see what he scales off of and know what you should be looking for. Now for Nouvellet, I'm going to be looking for HP percentage as his main source of damage output is going to scale off of his max HP as well as looking for crit rate and crit damage to get a higher crit value. And those are just always valuable subsets to have on people that you want to do more damage. As well as I'm gonna be looking at energy recharge as this makes my rotation simple and it flow a lot easier. Just, you know, it's, it's ER is always important to have, don't sleep on it. Now for my fourth subset, I'm most likely going to be looking for, uh, or I guess fifth, if we count crit rate and crit damage, you know, let's count those as one, but those are two separate ones. But I'm going to be looking for some EM, just because he is going to be triggering some reactions with the team, and I want those reactions to do a bit more damage. Now for our Sans, Goblet, and Mask, I'm going to be wanting the following stats for those. These are the main stats. I want HP percentage, Hydro damage bonus, and crit rate on the mask. These are all going to benefit Nouvellet the most in his terms of damage output. Now with these main stats in line, we're gonna look at the substats that I'm needing on these. These are gonna be the exact same as the flower and the feather, but with some exceptions to the sands and the mask. Since these roll with HP percentage and crit rate for the main stat, they cannot have them as a substat. So this leaves us with three valuable substats that we can get and one not so valuable substat. Now for the not so valuable one, I would prefer to have flat HP or something else. And these are gonna have a lower chance of rolling compared to the three valuable substats, which I will explain later on in the video when we are going and leveling up our artifacts. All right, now that we've gone over some of the artifacts and the subsets that I am wanting, let's go on ahead and watch this grind and I'll be back later when we are leveling up our artifacts to explain a bit more about what is going on and I will have some on-screen things to just kind of talk about some stuff as well. So I will see you at the end of this video. All right, well, let's go on ahead and get this going. Give me some good for this run. Electro damage, are you serious right now? Please roll energy recharge again? Ah, that was 102k right there, though. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's kind of hard to beat. Please. Oof. An attack percent. You might be good. We'll save you. Okay, so... Okay, so we just got this piece. Um, As you can see, it really only has, like, one valuable stat. 
and that's going to weigh heavily against us. But if I can get like HP as a secondary one that puts it to two and then maybe I can get something. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it. It's going to be our only crit rate ask. So, you know, might as well. All right. Let's see what this one gives us. Give us something good. Come on. Huh? Nope. Nope. No. If you would have been the other one, that would have been way nice. But no. The, ooh, if this rolls crit rate, that's really good for uh, official, actually. Wow, that's a high crit damage roll. Look at that. Wow. You right here are like the bane of my existence. Like, kicking robot thing. I hate you so much. I'm not even going to lie. This thing has been the bane of my existence. I hate it because it's pushing me around. It's doing all this stuff. And I don't like it. I'm going to torque that one from now on. Please? Is this? Yeah, it is. Dang, but that's only defense. Um, crit rate attack and HP. Possibly a good one for the fishy, fishy, fisho. And we're back to topping it off. Because that's what this is. It's just topping off your resin. You don't really get good pieces at all. Because the stream hates you. Uh, 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 yeah. Go, Elon, go. Meow. And boop. Boop, 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 boop. I was to say that we have six to use, but oh, look at that. I got it finally to where it does just a dingy. Let's go. HP, wow, you hate to see it. Defense, wow, you hate to see it. I want to pop yours. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Maybe we can roll a crit thing on there. I don't know. Stop trying to blast me. Fast. Like a two minute run. Two minutes, 34 seconds. Actually, the slowest of all the teams that I've tried. Wowzers. Wowie maui. Back to Raiden. Oh my gosh. She's insane. Oh no. Here we go again. My god. An attack percent. Great. Um, HP attack, crit damage. Hopefully it gets crit rate. Nuvalet pieces for me, please. Nope. Nope. What? Maybe an off piece for someone? Please. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That could be good. That could be good. You are an attack. No. Really? Oh my gosh. Could be another defense. Not good. Must have done something right. Really? And everything's going to fade away now that she just had up. Time to go do our final one. It's like a minute and four. I think that was one of the fastest times I've ever had, too. So let's go. Here's for all the monies. We'll let this one play out. Good luck, long. Oh. Oh. Well, let's go uh, see what we got. All right, so we got Nuvalet sitting here just waiting to see what he got in his artifacts for the runs. And uh, let's let's go on ahead and check. So we'll go here, and we're just gonna throw on the yeah. So we have about three here to choose through. Um. Also, here one sec before we do begin. All right. Now that we're done with the artifact grind, we need to talk about leveling up our artifacts. What is a good artifact to level? And what is you know don't waste your mora resin and other artifacts on. Now, Vidmillo does a really good job of explaining this, but the one part I did get kind of confused about is when he talks about artifacts that can roll with nine valuable substats max. You know, this can go anywhere from a plus two on valuable substats to plus nine for valuable substats. Now, you may be wondering, how do we get a nine valuable substat artifact when we only have four substats that can roll onto an artifact? So this really confused me, like I said, and I had to really watch the video and comprehend it and try to understand it. But in the video, basically, he talks about this, you know, math equation that we have that explains how we have trials, which are the amount of times that an artifact can level its substats 
And as you may know, if it has a three start, then we get four levels out of this. This is because at level four, we're going to get a new substat thrown onto this. And then we have four more trials that we are going to be able to roll into these subsets. Now, these trials are going to occur at levels eight, 12, 16, and 20, respectively, having only a three line start. So this gives us four trials that we can add on to our valuable substats. Now, our valuable substats get a plus one to the artifact whenever we go and a trial can roll into that. Now, if it were a four line start, this would give us five trials that we can go into. And let's say it's four line start with four valuables. We have five trials that we can go into. This means that we can get five added on to our valuable subsets, therefore making it a nine artifact, which is beautiful. And you kind of, you really want these. Um, in the video, he does talk about how you have your artifacts and if it's a plus like eight or whatever, this is like a ceiling god tier almost. And uh, he has a whole entire thing where it explains this. You'll have to pause and read it, but it is highly, highly worth it to read this. All right, now let's just, for example, let's say that we had a three star artifact and there's three valuable subsets on this. Therefore, automatically we have a plus three piece that can get four trials from this. Now, if we were to roll up to level four and then we got a valuable substat there, then that means that we have four valuable substats with four more trials, therefore making us automatically guaranteed to have a plus eight piece from the four levels, as you can see. Now, if this were to not roll into a valuable substat, then the max that this piece would be is a plus seven. Now, this is really good at helping us determine what artifact we should roll even from level zero. Let's say you got something that was the main substat you're looking for, but it had awful substats. Well, you know not to roll into this because you're just going to waste your mora and stuff. Like even if you did get one valuable subset, your chances of rolling into that subset are lower, which I'll explain a bit more later. Now, this shouldn't deter you from taking the valuable main stat that you're wanting and not rolling into it because honestly, something that is really important that he says in the video is it's way more important to get your main stat correct, leveled up to 20, and this will give you the highest damage increase that you can get. Then you can start farming for substat artifacts. And as you may or may not know, farming up artifacts and getting the correct substats can be tedious. It can be hectic. It can suck. Now, he also does have a Google Doc attached to this, which can show you a lot more of this information. And it shows you what are your chances of getting a plus two to a nine artifact on whatever piece you're going to get. Now, from this, we know which artifacts are worth rolling into. Like I said, from the start, from level zero, we know, hey, should I waste my Mora? Should I waste my time? Should I waste my artifacts that are leveling artifacts into this? Now, another point that he brings up is this math equation I've been talking about. Now, this is called binomial distribution, and it's actually a really good uh, math equation. And it's super simple to understand. He has a calculator that falls along with this to make things a lot easier, so you're not having to do math in your head. But this can basically give you the probability that you're going to roll into these valuable subsets versus the not so valuable subsets. And this can help out a lot with hey, this artifact started with three bad substats. Oh, I got one good substat. Well, there's, you know, your chances of rolling into this are so low that you should probably just go for another piece, if I'm being honest. And this can really, really, really help you know if your piece is dead early on or if it's not even worth rolling into, like, oh yeah, you got the correct stat, but what are your chances of getting into the substat? Now, I'll discuss a little bit more on screen with all of this through text. I'm not going to be talking as much. I'm going to let the video play out and then, you know, cover it. And again, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go and you check out Vid Miller's video as it is amazing. It explains this so well and it has helped me out a lot and actually made artifact grinding a lot simpler for me. Yeah, but that's it for voiceover Logan here and I'll let the video play out and let me talk and stuff. And yeah. Try this one out first and you can just take one of the bad ones and eat it. Dang it, you're old defense. This is my only other one. All right, let's see. Maybe you'll roll into something. Oh my gosh, let's go. 
Oh, yes. Okay, sweet. So we'll say goodbye to this one. We'll keep this one just because it does have that crit rate, crit damage. Does it have elemental mastery? Then again, I don't know how many you're going to be proccing. Um, we should already have a hydro thing, so we're not going to worry about that. Now, I did save my crit damages along with the crit rates because I want to see if maybe crit damage is the way to go since we're going to be getting 36% extra crit rate for five seconds at a max of three stacks. Let's go ahead and enhance this and we'll see. Damage crit rate. Mm, hate to see it. Another crit damage. Maybe I can get something. I'm really hoping that you'll roll into it. Give me crit rate. Oh, come on. You hit one good thing yet again. Even if I get it here, I still have a one in three chance of hitting that. And this one has a better chances. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. And we'll strictly just do this one. So we should have pretty good odds that we're going to hit into weapons. Nice, we should crit rate. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, did that just go? I want elemental mastery again. Not something that I'm like too shy of, you know? Nice, we just got a crit damage roll. Let's go. And for the final one, let's go on ahead and hit it into crit rate. Oh, crit damage again. That's what I like to see. Oh my gosh, another crit rate? This is insane. This piece is like... What? And I'll probably just literally won. And oh, the last one went into defense. Okay, I mean that matches up. We'll see. Let's defy the odds. Oh, okay. So flat HP percentage here because it scales off. No way we hit flat HP again. Our purples. What is this? All right. If you hit HP again, I'll scream. Wow. Look at that. We got more crit damage. <laughs> okay. Energy recharge. I'm not too against that. Dang it, defense. Nice, crit damage. Oh no, energy recharge. I thought I, I could have sworn I saw crit damage go up. Please? So let's go. Give me that crit damage, baby. It's about a 50 50 chance of what's going to hit here. And defense percent, of course. Wow. Why, why wouldn't you? Let's go, dude. Let's see if it works. No shot. You should crit damage twice. Okay. Oh, that HP. Yes, let's go. Going to crit damage now. Going to crit damage. I know my chances are... Oh my gosh. No way. No way. Damage, crit, damage, crit, damage, crit, damage, crit, damage. Oh, HP. I'm not upset about it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Okay, now this, I don't even want to talk about. This was just a scam and a half. We have 65 to 148. What? We don't even have anything that's. Ro We're rocking an HP percentage thing. We're not rocking something that's boosting crit rate or crit damage. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I am so happy to have Nubalette, and I'm going to be doing some runs with him and seeing what all this uh this bad mamajama can do. <sighs> but I will see you all in the next one. Bye.